Welcome back. I'm Marina Kim with the latest news from Kazakhstan. On July 6, Kazakhstan solemnly celebrated the day of its capital, which coincided with the 70th anniversary of the head of state Nursultan Nazarbayev. Presidents of Russia, Ukraine, Turkey, Armenia and several other countries arrived to Astana for the occasion, where they were entertained by the world-class pop stars, opera singers and musicians. Presents and congratulations were in order not only for Astana and Nazarbayev, but also the new residents of the capital, born on July 6. None of them were named in president's honor, but the parents still have time to think it over, say officials. Happy mothers were praising the Lord and the nation's leader in emotional outbursts. Our president, Nursultan Nazarbayev, is our protector. The Allah gave us this joy to have a baby today. I named his Tahi Birgen, so he can grow up like Nazarbayev. Honors were paid to the president during various events held in Astana streets, including street dancing, parkour and skateboarding competitions. The winners received 7,000 US dollars each, although the anniversary was just a good reason for the participants to get together and have fun. It does not matter if Nazarbayev is our president and it's his birthday or the celebration of Astana. He should commemorate somewhere else, while Astana in positive mood is more important to people. Concerts featuring children bands also took part in celebration. Young performers from all over the country came up with impressive shows. <music> Meanwhile, a number of celebrities also visited Astana for the occasion. The main event of the day featured performances by Russian composer Igor Krutoy, singer Alexander Serov and jazz musicians Nicole and Kimberly Davis. <laughs> The popular Romanian band Morandi, whose visit cost the city budget 30,000 US dollars, performed at the gala concert. Yeah, and yeah, we're going to perform the newest single we released almost one week ago. And it's called Rock the World. So. The president was paid honors in all the events held on Tuesday, including a happy birthday song sang by world stars. The festive mood spilled over from the concert stage to the city streets, where people continued enjoying open-air celebrations until late at night. The long-awaited protracted construction project Han Shatiri was finally opened on Tuesday in time for the president's anniversary. The giant premise with its impressive size is supposed to symbolize an ideal Kazakhstan as in the shelter of happiness, social equality and belief in the future. A mirage in Kazakhstan, the ever-warm sand beaches with the ever-green palms and the ever-happy people under them. This is the image that the country's citizens have in their heads when they hear about the Han Shatter project. The facility's grand opening has been delayed for already three times, but the president's anniversary seemed to be important enough to warrant the completion of the construction. <laughs> The facility itself has been put in the commission already, although some tenants did not finish decorating their areas or have to bring in their goods. If you have any doubts, just go and see for yourself. People are already visiting it. I have spent three years with this project, so I do not understand the purpose of such questions. Kanshatri sets the new high for all future benchmark projects in Kazakhstan. Its dimensions are measured differently as is required by its mission. The space it occupies is just an area, while the facility seems to represent much more than that. This unique 1,200,000 square meter facility will serve Kazakh citizens, as it will host 10,000 people all year long. The Kazakh dream will be seen around the world as 30,000 post stamps with its image were printed in Astana and already became a collector's item. The stamp is very peculiar, created on a highly artistic level. I liked it. It will certainly be a highlight in the collection. The Hanshatter project is itself a highlight of the architect Norman Foster's professional portfolio. It's the largest cultural and recreational center in Central Asia, opened in time with the president's anniversary, although it's considered a bad taste to link the events openly. The word Han is not anyhow related with Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. Han stands for the quality level, the royal level. The only link may be the fact that this name was given personally by the president. The day did not pass without presents, just like during regular birthday celebrations. The president of Ukraine, Viktor Yanukovych, awarded Kazakh leader with the Order of Liberty, reported the press service of the Kazakh president on Tuesday.
Viktor Yanukovych has personally awarded the Kazakh president with the Order of Liberty for an outstanding contribution to the development of Ukrainian-Kazakh cooperation. At the same time, the Ukrainian leader has invited Nazarbayev to his own birthday, which will be celebrated in Crimea on July 9th. It is anticipated that Nazarbayev, along with a number of other heads of states, will attend the solemn events in Ukraine. On July 6, Almaty hosted nine festive events at the same time. Traditionally, the major celebration took place at the Astana Square, where Kazakh pop stars gave concerts until the evening, followed by the invited Russian pop stars. This, however, was rather the exception to the rule, as in other parts of the city, residents seemed to treat the holidays just a regular day off, only with more music and decorations. The Astana mayor's office tried its best to amaze Kazakhstan citizens with the scale and fanciness of the event celebrating the city's anniversary. One such endeavor failed, as the authorities attempted to break the Guinness Book record for the biggest ever shish kebab. According to the initial plan, the giant barbecue was supposed to be tasted by all city residents. However, the meat prepared for this purpose simply spoiled. Officials, though, did not seem to be too upset. Now the entire city will join us in this effort. We will assist in picking the meat and the place as it's very important. And then we'll pick those who will cook it. The mass festivities were held across the entire Kazakhstan. Interestingly, though, the administrations of many regions seem to forget to explain to the population what the holiday was about. What does Kazakhstan celebrate on July 6? Here are some of the ideas from the regular citizens of the country. What are you celebrating? <laughs> this is the day of the Republic. I mean the day of our capital city. Today is the birthday of that guy, the president. I have no idea what holiday it is today. It's a holiday today. Is it a holiday today? It's a day of Kazakhstan or what? Today is a Nazarbayev's day. The rumors of Kazakh president resigning from his post after the holidays being well protected by the law and the leader of nation could be not groundless after all, say representatives of some Kazakh mass media. At the same time, experts claim that the so-called operation successor will start no, no earlier than in 2012, as Nazarbayev is likely to hold on to power until then. The next report talks about the perspectives of political changes. The newspaper Golos Respublika, the voice of the Republic, has voiced rumors of what might transpire beyond the president's anniversary. According to unofficial sources, Nazarbayev just might resign. The law on the nation's leader that allows the first president to influence the political configuration of the country serves as the main argument. The members of the president's administration claim that the law on the leader of the nation did not come out of the blue, but was initiated upon consultations with the heads of several powerful nations in exchange for the supposed transition of power to a successor after the celebration of the anniversary. In its turn, Reuters has published an article on July 1st entitled Key Political Risks in Kazakhstan, where the author emphasized that the law on the nation's leader may be seen as a sign of Nazarbayev's gradual exit from the scene. However, political expert Dosim Satbaev does not believe president is planning to retire. There are no powerful factors which can pressure the president to resign just after his anniversary. He still has time until 2012. The ex-leader of the Kazakhstan's Communist Party, Serik Polson Abdeldin, is of similar opinion. He says Nazarbayev will remain in the president's chair for a long time. Even if he will tell the nation that he is ready to leave, it won't be sincere. It will be then followed by an appeal from the citizens set up by his people, asking him to stay, as if nothing can be done without him. Both Satpaev and Abdeldin believe that the real issue is the potential successor. However, the list of candidates is fairly limited to just a few persons from the president's inner circle or some close relatives like Timur Kulibayev and Kairat Satibaldi. Interestingly, the president's grandson, Nural Aliyev, is not seen as a potential candidate. According to Satpaev, the family members of the exiled son-in-law, Rahat Aliyev, including the president's daughter, Darika Nazarbayeva, are not running for the presidency.